versatile genius of the Renaissance by the name of Leonardo da Vinci. How many have ever heard of him, right? Uh, he was born in, in Vinci, Italy in 1452, and though he excelled in many, many different fields, he uh, is remembered today because of two wonderful paintings. You may have seen uh, the Mona Lisa, and uh, today we're going to do our best to present for you the Last Supper. In 1494, when Leonardo was 42 years of age, he was commissioned by the Duke of Milan to decorate the dining room of the Covenant Church, which was the favorite shrine of the Duke's young bride. So as an appropriate theme for this dining room, the painter chose the Last Supper. And uh, the first thing that we need to recognize today is that this painting has its roots and has its foundation in the Scripture, right? All of this Gospels talk about this incredible event. Now we also need to realize that his painting was not intended to be a faithful reproduction of the original scene, okay, as it had taken place in first century Palestine, but rather da Vinci's goal was to capture the scene as it might have looked in 15th century Italy. So da Vinci was not trying to capture Jesus' day or Palestine or Jerusalem or the first century tradition of the way things would have, of the way they would have sat and the way they would have done things or even having all of the elements of the Passover visible. Uh, he didn't even try to do all of that. But I can assure you, however, that the Last Supper in Jesus' day must have been both a glorious and a very sad time. It was Jesus and his disciples. It was Jesus and those who would become his apostles. And so we're going to begin our time today, our presentation today, as the choir comes to sing a song, and it's simply called, He's God. Can you imagine what it must have been like for the disciples to be in Jerusalem during the Passover, right? Just hours before Jesus had ridden into Jerusalem on a donkey's colt, the crowds had said, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And children had praised him, and, 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 and they had thrown their clothes down in front of them. And as, they, and as they gathered for the supper, there must have been some, I believe, some lingering feeling, right, of the sense of victory of that first Palm Sunday. Uh, the disciples, of course, knew who Jesus was. They knew that Jesus was the Messiah. They knew that he was the Son of the living God. God as, as Peter had so aptly declared in front of them all and been commended for that. And so as they came into the room that had been prepared for them, I believe that there was great joy. They all greeted Jesus as King and as Savior and as Lord. And perhaps they didn't fully realize that as the week progressed, that the week would turn dark, that Jesus would be arrested, that a mock trial would take place, that he would be betrayed by Judas into the hands of sinners. They maybe didn't realize that he would be scourged and beaten almost beyond recognition. They didn't realize that in just a few hours that he would die on the cross. But all they knew was that their master, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, he was indeed God. Ladies and gentlemen, the Fountain of Life Choir singing, He's God with our special soloist today, Jeannie Figueroa.
so much choir. Gentlemen, you can be seated today. Jeannie, what a wonderful job you did on that song today. Amen. Amen. That must have been for the disciples a very joyous moment. Not only would they celebrate the Passover together, thinking of God's power, His miraculous outstretched arm as He rescued the children of Israel from Egypt, but they would also be thinking about the very fact that the death angel saw the blood of the Lamb on the doorpost of the houses and had passed over them. But as Da Vinci thought about that event, no doubt reading the scriptures, he chose what he considered to be the most dramatic moment of the Last Supper. In this living dramatization, we will attempt to present, excuse me, we will present, we will attempt to present the 12 apostles as they speak their minds to themselves, to each other, and to the Lord in the light of the words which they have just heard. Can you bring me down just a hair? Thank you, sir. Let me read to you the biblical narrative as we begin. You may follow along in your notes. I'd like to read to you out of Matthew chapter 26 and verse number 17. It says this, Now on the first day of the feast of the unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus saying to him, Where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? And he said, Go into the city to a certain man and say to him, The teacher says, My time is at hand. And he said, go, my time is at hand. I will keep the Passover at your house with my disciples. And so the disciples did as Jesus had directed them, and they prepared the Passover. Verse 20 says, and when evening had come, he sat down with the twelve. Now as they were eating, he said, assuredly I say to you, one of you will betray me. The scriptures tells us this. They were exceedingly sorrowful, and each of them began to say to him, Lord, is it I? Now, while Da Vinci could have painted a lot of dramatic moments that took place that night at the Last Supper with his disciples, he chose that moment in scripture. He could have chosen the moment where the King of Kings washed the disciples' feet, showing us how to be a servant. He could have chosen the moment when he instituted the Lord's Supper, when he broke the bread and said, this do in remembrance of me, when he lifted up the cup and he blessed it and said, this is the new covenant in my blood. He could have chosen to paint the moment when, when Jesus served communion for the very first time to his disciples, or the moment when he talked to Peter about him denying him, or Judas or under, uh, spoke of Judas' betrayal. But Da Vinci chose this moment. And in just a moment, we're going to recreate that moment that he painted on that day. So if you want a photo opportunity today, you can come towards the center today, all right? And you can get your photo today. We just ask that you post it on social media, all right? And remember, this is one of the most dramatic poses it's been one of the most famous paintings. Jesus had just said, one of you will betray me. And each one of them began to say, Lord, is it 